Coach, for you, just in the second half, just what was the difference with what maybe they did and what you guys were not able to do on your end, and just what did you see on that? Uh, I give Duquesne a lot of credit. They came out, and this is what I was worried about coming in. Duquesne's a very, very dangerous team um, offensively, and you know if you get let them get some confidence and, and get some clean looks, and, and they hit everything today. I felt like everything they threw up, it went in. Um, so credit them first. Um, but I thought we just came out and we didn't come out with the intensity defensively that we needed. I mean, given well, I don't I don't know when the last time we've ever given up 85 points. And, and you no, know, I give them credit, but I also think that our intensity and our execution um, in terms of our game plan defensively just it wasn't clean, it wasn't sharp. Um, and and they came out, they were desperate today. They had to win this game, and, and I thought you saw it. They responded. Um, you know, they couldn't afford to lose another game and. And, you know, I was happy with our first half, but I thought the second half, just the intensity dropped. How much of a difference maybe is it that maybe you're looking about a month out from this from the season before a tens learn that learn this now with a younger group and just maybe let the pieces fall where they may for this next month? Yeah, you know, I thought we made some progress. In, and I think you're, you're right. You nailed it. You know, that's a veteran team right there. And, and they showed it today. Uh, they, they knew how important this game was, and, and they had veteran leaders that stepped up and played great. So... Uh, that's what you would expect a senior-led team to do, uh, especially on their home floor. So we're, we're, we are an inexperienced team, and, and I don't know if you know, people don't realize that. We have a lot of new people in, in, in new positions, and their first time playing. So, uh, you know, this is a wake-up call. You come and you get your butt beat. Uh, so we gotta, you have two options. You can say the season's over and, and you know, pack it up. Or we do like every game, win or lose. We look at it, we address it, we see what we did well, we see what we did wrong, and then we come back the next day and we try to we try to get better because the season's far from over. Duquesne's going to beat a lot of other teams in, in the rest of their regular season. We're going to win more games, um, but you know we <laughs> you got to learn, and sometimes you learn best when you get smacked across the face. And, and again, give Duquesne credit. As a coaching staff, how do you balance just these 50-50, these edges, and how much do you leave that to the players to figure out and grow and learn amongst themselves? Yeah, some of them at the end of the day, you know, they're the ones out there, and, and they're the ones that have to make the plays, and they're the ones that have to be focused, they're the ones that have to die for the loose ball when it's out. But it is my job to, to prepare them, and it's my job, uh, you know, to motivate them to, to do that. So at the end of the day, this is this is on me, and, and this is it's my job. So. Um, I gotta be better. I gotta prepare them better. I gotta, you know, I, I gotta be able to get them to sustain better. So, you know, I'll take I'll take this one, and and you know, as a staff, we'll we'll look at it, and we'll come back, and we keep working. That's what we do. We keep working. Um, win or lose, we just it's it's all about this is over now, and and we gotta continue to work to try to. You know, I still think this team can do great things. So. I know this one's fresh on the mind, but you all are still 7-3 and three in a very wide-open Atlantic 10. Just where do you see yourself through 10 games right now in conference play? Shoot, I wish I knew that. I wish I had a crystal ball. But, uh, again, in, in our program and how we approach everything, it's literally one day at a time. And, you know, this game was a big game for both of our the teams out there. Every game that we play from here on out is a big game. Every game in the league, because I think anyone can beat anyone on any night this year in this league. So... Uh, every game matters, and, and that's why we'll now focus in um, on our next one, and it doesn't get any easier having to go to, you know, down to VCU and, and play a really good VCU team.